Okay, moving on, we're a few days later now. Um, got the oil pan tightened up. I'm not worried about the bolts at this point. They did go in a, a bunch of threads. I still have not gone and put the Loctite on them. Uh, so I'm gonna pull those one by one, put some Loctite on them. I've gone ahead and thrown some paint on the timing chain cover and also on the harmonic balancer as this engine doesn't really <clears throat> There's no way, real good way to get any paint on these things once they're once they're installed. So uh, basically, sandblasted the damper, looks good, cleaned up nice. Threw some primer on it, but painted the backside. So once we paint the engine as a complete unit, it'll all be blue. Also did the timing chain or uh, the water pump housing, and we're going to also get that mounted up today. So we're gonna flip this engine around and keep going. Now with the motor right side up, we're gonna get some sealant on the gasket surfaces for the water pump housing. And then we'll get it mounted on. These bolts are also torqued to 30 foot pounds. Very much like the fuel pump bolts, the water pump bolts have a nylon insert from the factory. You can see that, if I can get it into focus there, that little dot. Uh, basically they drilled it, put a little bit of nylon in there, and when they rammed it into the bolt threads it kind of sealed up the threads so that the water couldn't pass it. So what we're going to do is we're going to reseal that and get this water pump on. I'm going to use some of that aviation sealer right on the threads works really good. I've never had any leaks with it, so we're going to continue to use it.
these bolts also get torqued to 30 foot pounds. And since we're putting this together, we're going to also get the heater hose nipples reinstalled. I'm just going to shoot a little bit of blue paint on the back side of this bolt just because it's kind of tough to get there. And with a smear of oil on the actual surface and on the seal, we'll get the damper installed. Okay, now that that's down, it's tightened all the way, uh, I have to torque it yet. I'm not going to be able to do that until I get the flex plate on the back and it can actually hold the engine from turning over. Uh, this bolt takes a lot of torque. I'm not sure the spec on it right now, but it is pretty high, so we'll wait till later to actually torque that down. Yeah.